Good morning, guys. Best way to start a qualifying day. Some good old music with Alberto. Cooking up some eggs. Making some cereal. Shulmanator, how's your hangover doing? <laughs> I don't have a DNA. <laughs> Dude, Shulman was twisted I'm last not, night. I two freaking white balls. I'm not twisted. <laughs> No, dude, I was editing another room and I saw Shulman commenting on my Instagram posts, like commenting slurs. No, <laughs> it was great. Not. He was he was adding like extra vowels to every word. Like what? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Was <laughs> Ding dong. Oh man, I love this thing. I'm so glad I have it with me. I know I say that every morning, but so today, no one from the public really comes. Uh, mainly just kind of like practice and qualifying and then some people will watch on the live stream, but that's about it Look one of our friends is here. That's a chaser. How cool Looks like a tour V All right, so not much has changed with the car since last time one of the main things though if you remember we had a throttle cable failure So now we have an entire uh, stainless cable um, Alberto, do you know the specifications of how that cable is actually different? I believe there's well, nothing to melt, right? It has a Teflon lining inside, which the other one did not, so that keeps it from getting stuck like we had the issue with the previous cable. So, got a new throttle cable. It feels a little bit different, um, but that should help us prevent from having any other issues. And now we have a spare in case you run into any issues. Another thing, uh, we never like really did like a full uh, check on the alignment. We kind of thought it was good and went. The alignment was very far off, so now we've got a really good alignment on it, thanks to the guys over at Phillips in uh, Longwood or Castleberry, wherever it is. Um, and you did some welding. What did you weld? Well, your suffering was cracked because you hit the differential against the brown at OSW. So I cut the suffering a little bit. I had to weld it. Also, the exhaust was, the had a hanger was completely broken off, so I ended up welding that. And also installing an antenna for your radio because you we couldn't hear you. So now we're gonna be able to hear you from really far away with your new remote antenna. I was I was telling Alberto, I was like, man, I can't hear you guys. Maybe we should put a muffler on the car and try to quiet it down. But they were like, or we could put an antenna on it and you could keep your car loud. There you go. So it's, it's the best of both worlds. Exactly. So Alberto had his avocado toast and eggs this morning, so he's feeling like a new man. Yeah. The shulmanator is shulmanating down, down over there. Hey, hey, easy. don't shulmanate too hard on my wheels, dude. Everybody's in town. We got the old Travers in town. Are you ready? I'm excited. Are you ready? That's that's the question. I'm ready. I'm here. We had such a good day yesterday. I've uh, I've, I've decided. I think my favorite thing about FD is setup day. So we're gonna have you for setup day next time because it was so fun. Really? We just we, yeah. we got done so fast and just hung out and played and it was great. Yeah. We'll do that Sunday. That'd be good. I was on the dyno. Yeah, I, I left the Supra on the dyno uh -huh. just to, to come here. So Yours or the giveaway Supra? The giveaway Supra. What it make? Oh, do you want not want not want? Go watch this video if you want to see what it made. No, it did good. Pump gas and everything. So yeah. These two masks. I'm, I'm sad. I'm not even gonna be able to drive before the end of the giveaway. So. Yikes. When does it end? Friday. Ooh, get your entries in, guys. The tenth. The tenth. I'll, I'll plug it right here again. I'll put it put it in the description. Best thing about Atlanta is renting golf carts. Is it electric, Tommy? It's gas. We gotta hit the gas. Just... Yeah, there you go. We're good. Oh, we're good. Okay, so we're going to the driver's meeting. I don't film there because it's like school and I feel awkward. <laughs> Bye. The driver's meeting was good. Uh, this track's actually very, very technical, so I'm gonna, rather than just like doing things, um, I'm gonna try to show you guys what they told us in the driver's meeting so you have a better idea of what you're watching. So an interesting thing, uh, Atlanta operates a bit differently, where there's hot pits up by the track, so we actually won't be pitted here. We go up on track and pit over there. So they're getting ready to take the truck and the S15 over there, and I'm gonna go over some of the notes from the driver's meeting with you guys to give you a little bit better understanding of what goes on. But uh, should be a pretty cool little setup up there. All right, so this is everything that we have in the, the bed of the truck, running up there to do the hot pit. Basically gonna have a mini one of these over there so that, that way if uh, anything minor happens to the car or majorly minor, uh, we could do it on track. Uh, obviously if we have like a tranny failure or anything, we'll come back down here. But did everything, nut and bolted the car, checked all the wise fab, changed the angle settings because last time it was rubbing a little bit, had a little too much, little bit too much angle. But uh, double check everything on the car, it's all fueled up, ready to go, radio works, cool suits on, be ready. Not the easiest way for me to explain, but um, the premise of it is kind of similar to North Course. Uh, what I'm gonna try to do is start and kind of push towards the outside when I enter, so I can start diving in earlier. Because you want to hit this inside clip one, kind of beeline it up this hill, kind of shallow, 
to be able to get all the way up and fill this outer zone up here. So from there, they wanna see us just smoothly kind of add angle in, and this is the only decel zone really, uh, other than the entry, where then we'll kind of fill this outer zone up here, which is kind of getting as close as we can to the rumble strip. You can get on it, but uh, you don't have to. Go around here, and then we're gonna try to hit another inner clip here, and then kind of beeline it down the hill, and then another like inside touch and go, uh, basically like they want to see our front bumper over this rumble strip and then beeline it down to this last inside clip again so that's what they're gonna be looking for and obviously there's always style fluidity and speed incorporated into this so I'm just gonna do my best to meet that criteria in practice and hopefully the car feels good all right so you guys might not know this but this truck is really being piloted by the man himself the Shulmanator yep. so Shulman is uh, you're the you're the runner today right I am everything always always uh, oh, all right. Yeah. So uh, Shulman's gonna be, you're gonna be running the truck back and forth with like wheels and tires and yes. stuff, right? Yeah. So uh, we're going up to the hot pit on grid where we're gonna start practice as we're rolling through the pits. How you, how you doing, Trev? Well, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just enjoying the, the window tent back here and all this leg room. It's a great truck. So it's, it's always messy when Tommy drives it though. You notice that? I mean, I mean, yeah. In case we have any engine issues, uh, Ford seems to have a few spare blocks laying around for us. Here, we got Jason. We don't need that. So at Road Atlanta, there's this scenic little like forest road that you take to get to the back section of the track. Also very fun to race golf carts on. But yeah, don't hit him, Shulman. So kind of on the back section of track, everyone's got little tents and stuff set up. So you can uh, fix the cars quickly since Road Atlanta is such a big track. Just to be able to easily service stuff and change tires and things. With this track, one of the things is there's this big, they call it the kitty litter. Uh, it's a like sand trap if you enter too hot. Everyone the first time always goes in and uh, rips their kit off. So we're actually pulling the kit off just for the first lap, even though it looks stupid. I don't have a lot of spare replacement kits, so we're gonna go bare bones. People are gonna make fun of me though. Pretty much everybody brings absolutely everything that they could almost fit over here so that you don't have to go as uh, basically last resort to go back to the pits since it's such a far drive and uh, just try to get everything fixed over here on track. I definitely have a lot of respect for the guys that can all go out here and like bang out a perfect lap first go because it's it's a handful.
uh, lots of drivers out here. I think there's almost 40 drivers. So Andy is a freaking man. He's relentless. Got uh, Adam's car up here second in line. And uh, he's ready to, ready to go for a rip. We did a super fast uh, all four wheels, brand new tires on all four corners just because this front one had a bunch of uh, basically rocks in the beads, same with the back one. But she's all good. I think Adam's ready to go. You stoked? Yeah, I'm stoked that I might get more than two runs in this session. <laughs> I'm still going to the kitty litter, dude, real talk. You like the kitty litter? I'm glad I got it out of my system. I want to know what it felt like, you know? Was it, it wasn't that bad though. It was sick, honestly. I'm glad I went in with this and not the Porsche. Qualifying, um, I definitely haven't put together a good run yet. Uh, I was having a really hard time kind of visually figuring out where to enter. Uh, as I did more runs, and then Juku guys actually came over and showed me some footage of Kevin entering, and I saw that he enters like right at the beginning of the rumble strip. And I just, every time I was entering somewhere different, it was either going too slow or too fast, 
So that last one, I found out where I want to enter, which is at the beginning of the rumble strip, but I overcooked it a little bit, and rather than beelining it straight past that first uh, clipping point, I kind of washed out a little bit and screwed up my line for that outer zone going into the second outer zone. So um, if you don't get that first part right, it kind of screws up the line for the rest of the track. So uh, I'm going to do my best. I'm going to try to dial it back a little bit, get one decent qualifying, and then pour it on a little bit harder for the second lap of qualifying, um, just so we don't have a repeat of what happened last time. But I'm having fun messing around. Got a great team and great vehicle and great, great drinks. That's why I get it. No, I'm just kidding. This sucks. This is uh, Adam's first qualifying run, and it just started raining. They gave him one practice run to fill it out, and I, I think this is this qualifying run. Man, literally about to go up, and it starts downpouring. Luckily, though, they did call 15 minutes because I was about to go, and I could not see at all. The whole window was fogged up. All my radio equipment is shorted out because it's right back there. Now the water is just pouring right into it, so I couldn't hear anyone. The car felt like junk. <laughs> Not prepared for the rain, since it was set up for grip uh, into the drive, so. <laughs> uh, uh. It's moist. Yeah. I'm moist. All right, guys, so out here, getting ready to go. They're uh, going to allow him one more lap to test it out. And then uh, that's his qualifying run. They're out there looking at the track right now. But it's really, really iffy. There's big puddles everywhere. So here we go, Adam LZ, this is his first qualifying run, less than ideal conditions. Let's see how he handles it. Comes in, backwards entry, looks like, oh, and he's gonna go off course. And uh, unfortunately for him, this is, uh, that's, that's a tough break right there for, for Adam. And now all the other drivers, the spotters, they're definitely taking note. That is a tough break for him because the siding lap uh, actually looked like he was uh, prepared enough for that. And, uh, Unfortunately, it looks like uh, the nerves getting a little bit uh, to him there. You know, as I said, Jared, we've seen a lot of uh, footage of Adam. We saw him many, many times in practice. It's, it's quite clear that he's a, a very talented driver. 
and expect him to do very well. But uh, getting into competition is a whole other beast. All right, so Adam's getting ready to go out for uh, second run in the wet. I think the track dried up a little bit. So Andy and uh, basically everybody were real stoked. So Andy's cold. Fired up the car to heat himself up. He's up next. The time it is now, the track conditions have changed once yeah, again. Yeah, I mean it's completely transformed from how how we started to him going in with the wet, and uh, and now it's like I said, I keep going back to just seeing the chat. On, uh, on the live stream, and Sean Adriano, who's at the top of the hill, he's gonna have a second qualifying run, and he's saying the track is just super patchy. That just goes to show you, it's not that easy, so hence why we are allowing a uh, sight lap on their second runs as well, because it's very different from, uh, from what Adam had on his first run. Run here, coming to us from Florida. Can he lock it in and make it a top 16? Rolling into that first front flip line we talked about. It looks like he goes past the point of no return. Transitions in, good sweeper, gets to the outside zone. Seen some smoke coming off those back tires, which is a sign of a good time. A wide swing there, too. So, in regards to line, definitely off a little bit here and there. Ooh, that could have come unbound. But Adam LZ will be doing a full pull. Adam LZ on a second qualifying run, is it enough? Well, it's definitely gonna be a scored run. The question now is what's that score gonna be and how is that gonna hold up with the remainder of the field? He got through that initiation, makes a transition there. You can tell it, it's still a little bit tricky out there. There's patches of dry and then wet, but he's able to manage to get through. Obviously a little bit off the line here uh, on that inside clip by a, a big margin, but able to get back on it. That transition coming out of the horseshoe, really difficult for people, and also that final transition, but he makes it look pretty good. It's gonna be a scored run. And a 76, so a, substan a substantial jump up there for Adam LZ, a 76. All right, thank God I had a sighting lap. I didn't think I was gonna get one since I got one before, but I guess since the track dried up a lot, they're giving people another sighting lap. And I really needed that because the track changed dramatically. Uh, I got like a 76, definitely not the best I can do, but like, given the conditions, I'm hoping that's enough to at least get me into some tandem tomorrow. So I'm, there's I'm, seven. I'm just trying to, I'm seven, dude, but there's still 25 more people to go. So I'm not getting my hopes up. But maybe, maybe. Yeah. I'm pumped though. Now we go back to the pits so we can watch everyone else as we load up. Sick. Look at how cool this drive is. It's so cool. If I were ignorant and I didn't care, I would be ripping a fat fourth gear burnout up this hill. Yet again, another trailer hang, finding myself right on the cusp. The mood is very heavy, but I feel like the odds are better this time than last time. So, fingers crossed. There's two more people to go. And they could both do better than me and then bump me out, which would suck, but I did my best. Trevor's on here, he keeps promoting his giveaway, it's kind of funny. Look. Oh, it's... <laughs> Super giveaway ends tomorrow. Oh, shameless plug. Homie Strayan, so I think we're in. That means instead of pizza, we gotta go to the qualifying meeting. <laughs> oh, the source of the showmanation comes out! <laughs> so, uh, at least it came out of your mouth this time. Final update, we did make it in. What do we get? Do we get 14th? 14th. What are we gonna do with the competition tomorrow? We're gonna showmanate it. Oh, you gotta put more effort, more effort than this. So, uh, conveniently enough, here in Cumming, Georgia, my friend actually has a, uh, a parking lot. He's got like a, a little like boating business over here. And he told me he wouldn't mind if I did a celebratory uh, donut real quick. So, it's my first one that I've ever done in my Porsche. And it's uh, wet out, so I won't feel too guilty about gripping up, drifting on the tires and stuff. So. Oh, should I try the clutch kick thing? Maybe I will. Good job, Porsche. 
And thanks, Bill, for letting me use your parking lot. I really do appreciate it. Great guy, Bill. All right, guys. So officially, we are indeed in, and we are going to be going against Riley Sexsmith tomorrow for our first battle in uh, top 16. So it is very, very difficult, as I said before, like with the track conditions being all over the place and a field of 40 drivers being narrowed down to 16. So. I'm more than happy than anything just to be able to make it to the next stage this time to feel like I did a little bit better than last time where I didn't even qualify and get to drive more and get to finally like do some tandem with the car. So I'm excited. Uh, I will say kind of what we learned as a team from Orlando and what I think helped us excel the most in Atlanta was not messing with the car too much. So I think it's easy to get confused and blame things on the car when uh, you don't really have that much time out on track. So especially at Atlanta, I only turned like maybe five or six laps. So it'd be easy to keep saying, oh, we should change this with the car, we should change this with this car. But I was just like, I just want to get laps in, just feel comfortable with the car, let's not change a million things. And uh, I'll just drive around whatever the car feels like. So I think that that in the end helped not messing with things a bunch. That way every time I went out, it was somewhat similar despite the conditions. Um, and I definitely think like I'm very, very proud of kind of where we've come as a team because Atlanta having the pits be so far away from the hot pits, uh, it really takes a, a higher level of coordination and kind of thought to go into uh, fully preparing a program and like making everything work. So we definitely had some hiccups as you guys saw in the video and uh, the weather almost wasn't in our favor, but it worked out to where we weren't the only ones that had to drive in the rain. So anyway, I'm so thankful like at how excited you guys are about this and like how many messages I got after I qualified or even after I put together a scoring run. Um, it's just really cool seeing how hyped you guys are behind it and I'm excited to go drive tomorrow and uh, hopefully I'll meet some of you guys at Road Atlanta. Uh, keep an eye on my Instagram stuff and I'll post like if we're doing any like meetups or anything. Um, that way if you come by the rig you know we're there because Road Atlanta is huge and it can take you like 15-20 minutes to walk from one side to the other. So I'll try to do my best with that and I'll see you guys tomorrow.